Sue's in a happy place. <laughs> Tasmania, a land of world heritage wilderness, dense rainforests, incredibly tall trees, majestical waterfalls, pristine beaches, rugged mountains, penguins, wombats, and the elusive Tasmanian devil. We still haven't seen a Tassie devil. In this episode, we breathe in the world's cleanest air as we travel from Eaglehawk Neck to Freycinet National Park, visiting the stunning Wineglass Bay before heading up to the Bay of Fires. But will we find a campsite in this hugely popular place? Good morning, friends. What a beautiful day in Tasmania we have today. And we are making our way to Freycinet National Park. But before we go there, we've got a couple of extra places to check out here near Eaglehawk Neck. That's well cool. Whoa. This was once a cave and the roof collapsed. We have no idea why this is called the Devil's Kitchen. We drove through the quirky town of Do Town, where so many of the houses have signs incorporating the word Do. Next stop today is the blowhole, and we're back at the delicious food truck. It's almost, you know, tor you know, uh, tor torturous, isn't it? <laughs> Going past the fish and chippy. <laughs> You're incorrigible. <laughs> I've talked him into it, friends. And the last of these three rock formations that we're seeing today is the blowhole. I actually think this one's a bit of a anti-climax, particularly compared to the other two. However, with a, with a real good storm and swell, it'll be pretty impressive, wouldn't it? It would be, yeah. Come down on a real stormy day, it's pretty exciting. Hey, this is nice. Hello. 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 Let's go get our fish and chips. Fish and chops. <laughs> so, if you come to this area, Do Town, do have some fish and chips mm. at the Doolicious Fish and Chip um, food truck. Mm. Or an ice cream. They don't batter the fish, but they have like a really nice um, crumb on it, which we don't normally um, go for. But it's, yeah, it's really nice. Well, what's interesting, get, Nigel? You get, you get for you get two. Like Sue and I are going to share this. You know, there's two, you know, decent sized pieces of fish. What was um, that? Eighteen dollars. Yeah. So actually, it's not too bad the pricing. I mean, we I don't know. I wouldn't eat. Struggle to eat that all. I mean, yeah. you would you'd be a bit gutsy to eat the whole lot, but you'd yeah, be super hungry. But, after a big hike, but um, there's a lot of food there. Yeah. Here we are this afternoon walking along the beach at Eagle Hawk Neck. We are walking down to see the tessellated pavement from the Airbnb where we're staying. So, one of our lovely subscribers reached out to us over Instagram and offered us to stay in her Airbnb, which is right here on Eagle Hawk Neck, right across the road from the beach. Jill. Yeah, so thank you very much, Jill. We really appreciate it. So we've just arrived at the tessellated pavement, but I'm actually more impressed by these trees, which are just kind of hanging in there on the cliff. But yeah, look at this. Perfect squares. Nature's uh, kitchen tiles, aren't they? Yeah. I need to break out into a bit of... Um... I'll do it, Nige, do it. Hello, Frank Walker National Tiles. Have a new range. <laughs> Nature's own. <laughs> it's called the tessellated uh, kitchen tiles. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first time Nigel's Frank Walker has come out since I remember where it was too, Carragini. Hello, Frank Walker from National Tiles. Welcome to my new range in the Pilbara. So the tip with the tessellated pavement, friends, is make sure you come at low tide. It's quite uncanny. Look at how perfectly straight that yeah, is. Perfect straight blocks, really, um, just 
Yeah. Out and, and put, you know, put on a building site. Crazy, no. So this is the view of the tessellated pavement from above. Here's a travel tip, friends. Don't trust Google Maps when they send you on a shortcut. Well, I've made the call. Uh, and I'm probably regretting it already. Literally, we've got 30 kilometres to go on this uh, shortcut. Maybe we're too bad. It's pretty nasty. Let's go back the other way. I think we'll go back the other way. The other way was still a dirt road, but a much nicer dirt road. Sadly, the beachside free camp near Freycinet is currently closed due to bushfire damage. So we stayed at this one called River and Rocks, along with a lot of other people. He's doing it, friends. Like that. The oysters are coming out. Don't you dribble oyster juice on the <laughs> bench, buddy. <laughs> we followed a sign down a little back street near Denali to grab these oysters. $16. That is even more exciting. These mountains or rock formations are called the hazards and the next day we drove down to hike in and amongst them. Still in your PJs. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But so I, you. But I, yeah, I'm still in my rompers. Um, but look at this. We've got uh, one hell of a fry up on the go here. It looks exciting. It is. Shrooms, beans, a bit of health in there. Nice. But this, this will prepare us nicely for our um, big hike coming up. Another bloody four thousand steps. Yeah, the legs. It's very sore. <laughs> Day three after doing four thousand steps, and I'm about to do another four thousand. Yeah. And that's not just walking steps. That's up and down. Tough it out, walk it I out. Know. Exactly. Yeah, right. The old fashioned way. <laughs> Pre hiking breakfast. <laughs> Nigel's pretty excited. Mm -hmm. Down tooting. <laughs> Okay. Good morning, friends. Morning. <laughs> Today we're going off to hike to Wineglass Bay, over the lookout, down to the bay. Nigel reckons he's having a swim. Yeah, it's only 20 degrees, but uh, oh well. Yeah, it's, um, it's, we were uh, expecting looks, a sunny day today, the but beach no. looks beautiful. Um, so. Noisy oh, helicopter. Noisy helicopter. <laughs> So we're just having a bit of a discussion. Nigel, show us the plan. Well, it, looks like plan. A, yeah. it looks like a sand dune there, but it's just people touching the, um, uh, the colour. So we're here. Um, the plan is to walk up and over to Wineglass Bay, have a swim. And then we're contemplating this big circuit, which, as the board says, is like, um, it's difficult. <laughs> It's five, five hours, um, but it does avoid the 4,000 steps. So we're going to get Well, you only have to, to do 2,000. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get the wine glass and make a educated decision. Yeah, so let's do it. So this is where we are, we're almost at the lookout, a thousand stairs down to the beach. We're constantly reminded that um, 
We're not allowed to uh, give you some aerial shots, friends, which is a bit sad. Yeah. Actually, um, saying yesterday, we kind of forgot we actually own a drone. <laughs> It's been that long since we flew it. A little bit frustrating given um, the panoramas that we've been witnessing. Thank you. Look at this. <gasps> Keep it rolling. Holy Come on guys, mackerel. check this out. Oh wow. How about mooring up here with a yacht? <clears throat> look at that. Would you look at that? Oh, well, there's that wind. We'll have to put the uh, fleece back on. <laughs> Yes. Oh, that's wine glass stunning. It's so spectacular. Wine right. glass Bay Beach, here we go. Steep, slippery track. Oh, shivers. You're gonna love this. Here he comes again. All right, so we've just arrived at the beach, Wineglass Bay. Nigel's getting ready. What a beautiful looking beach. Mm -hmm, isn't it? Wow, no one's in the water, what the hell? What's wrong with these people? What's really cool about this beach is that there is no vehicle access here. You either come by boat or you walk. There's actually quite a few people here. It's quite busy. He's totally posing, look. <laughs> this wallaby seemed so tame and he came so close. Sadly, it's probably because people have been feeding it. Definitely not a good thing to do. And we're just deciding which way we're going to walk back. I think we're going to do the loop. It's decision what, time. What's it going to be? Three and a half hours? Or one and a half hours? Oh, yes. Left for adventure? Or I think left for adventure. Back the same way. What do you reckon? Well, we've got to stick to our, uh, our second namesake, don't we? Left for adventure? Left for adventure. All right. Okay, we are going. going via Hazards Beach. Three and a half hours, eight oh, kilometres. Time look. check? Uh, just gone after 12. We're um, walking across the Isthmus. Oh, this is the Isthmus. I think this is the ah, Isthmus. Awesome. Pushing Sue up the hill. <laughs> no, until it's actually pushing Definitely me. Definitely slow down. It's all right, but we're back at the no, junction. That's good. We just like that. We're back. It took us. Is that the one we did? Yep. So five and a half hours it took us. Instead of five. It's pretty good. Not bad. Woot woot. 
You know, for a minute there, you know what I thought that was. What was that, Nigel? Albatross. But it's not. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a bellied, bellied sea, eagle. sea eagle. We didn't. We did not see one of those. And driving out, the hazards looked even better in the blue sky. So Nigel's currently outside excavating the campsite. <laughs> All right, hang on. <laughs> Hang on. You dug some holes, mate? Yeah. Dug some holes. Does that feel better for you? I still feel a bit cockeyed. Let's check the levels. So we actually use the um Oh, can't see my passcode. We use this app, it's in the measuring and it's got levels on it. So, yep, level that way. Level that way, perfect. So this is the van in full van life reality mode. I'm eating out of a container that the stuff was in the fridge and some poppadums there. Not just pouring a wine. We were going to go to Devil's Corner today, but we ran out of time. So, um, <clears throat> so but we did the right thing. We got a Devil's Corner bottle. Looks, looks good. Computers everywhere. Food, clothes. Yeah. It's typical van life. Let's see how this is. It smells nice. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. I like it. That'll work. Mm. That'll work well. Mm. It's very nice. Well, it was recommended to us the uh, of all the um, wineries around here, and there's lots. Yeah. We, we passed heaps, didn't we, on, on the way here? Yep. Um, so, well done, Devil's Corner. The next day, we continued north, heading for the Bay of Fires. This is where we've been staying at Dora Point. We're right by the beach here. And what we have loved about this campsite is that, well, we're not camping on top of everybody else or everybody else camping on top of us. So we've had this nice big site. The sites here are numbered. Uh, there are toilets here, but no other facilities. And just a short walk down there takes us to the little beach. Okay, might be able to just make out the van through the trees there. The track past the toilets leading to the beach at Dora Point. Oh. Uh. Today we are heading to the Bay of Fires. This is one of our most highly anticipated areas in all of Tasmania. So we're packing up our campsite here in Dora Point and we're about to hit the road. So we're back on the road and heading for, where are we going to go now? It's Cozy Corner? Cozy Corner. Swim yeah. cart beach is supposed to be the most popular and I think that's because it's an actual beach. But yeah, so I'm excited to this part of our journey. Yeah. I'm yeah, really looking forward to the Bay of Fires. It's been talked up, so our expectations are up here. Um, which can sometimes be a detriment, but we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll take it as it comes. After checking out several very full campsites, we turned off down to Swimcart Beach, not holding out much hope. Well, is he going? Yeah. Are you packing up, mate? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. What do you reckon about that one? Pretty nice, night. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's only a caravan blind sort of thing, isn't it? So these guys here are packing up to leave. So we're just going to wait <laughs> until they go and then we'll slot into that spot. This oh. is like the, the primo spot. Swimcart oh. Beach is like is the it? primo campsite. Oh, yes, good. this oh, well, is the one everybody yes, wants to time. get to. <laughs> but for today, I reckon this is... No, it's primo. Primo. And we can just pull in there and just... <laughs> Put the awning out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Nigel always scares me about tipping over, but we are. Look at the lean we're on. <laughs> we're on a big lean. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't that was much better than this for a million dollar view. That was a good spot, Nigel, seeing that they were packing up. Yeah, I just saw the, his um, support going up. And yeah. I thought, oh, hang on. I mean, it literally just started when we drove past. Yeah. yeah. So it would have been easy to miss. I think from Queensland too. Uh -huh. Living the dream. Ant and Janelle. <laughs> God love yous. Yeah. Here we go, right into this beautiful little spot. Look at this, right on the beach. Does it get any better? I don't think so. They call this Millionaire's Row. And we are locked in. Look at this. You. <laughs> Loving it. Sue's excited. She's running in the water. Thought they have a swim. Just I'm alive, I'm alive! <laughs> Sue's in a happy place. <laughs> Sue's in a happy place. So happy. It's not bad, is it? Uh, as we look back, campsite. <laughs> we had such a great camp spot we decided to just hang out here for a couple of days. We watched the sunrise over the ocean, we took beach walks and loads of photos of the beautiful colours of the landscape. The orange lichen on the rocks is what gives this area its name, the Bay of Fires. Susie's so doing the happy dance. <laughs> We're just having a chill day today. We're right by this beautiful beach. Got the awning out. The wind is making it flap a little bit. We're currently sitting inside the van simply because it's very bright out there and we're both doing some work. Yes. The flappy awning's making the uh, coach captain a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> they will be all right. It'll be supposed to get 25 knots isn't it? Yeah. When the van starts shaking then I think we'll bring it in. Yeah. Still can't be bothered with cleaning up the van. Oh and Nigel's already had one swim and apparently I'll be going out for a swim today too. It was so windy at our beach that we went round to another beach hoping we'd find a bit of shelter. As usual Nigel's straight in while I hesitate. Three, two, one, go. I got out and Nigel had a great time swimming around until... Yeah, that was, um, that was a bit silly. Put the keys for a dip. Like a... Hopefully... Hopefully I haven't turned... Drowned them. $600 for one of these bloody things. So, Nigel, what are you doing? Um... Nothing. <laughs> so, took the um, keys for a bit of a swim. A $600 flipping <laughs> key. So, yeah, yeah. We'll put it in the rice. Key is now in the rice overnight. Join us next week to find out if the key works and the van will start before we have, or Nigel has, even more misadventures. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, that was a good show. <laughs>